Your favorite neighborhood tank Aishi is on the air. And, um, yeah, I'm still awake. What about you? Anyway, um, as you notice, a lot of things have been going on this month. Um, Ninja Vember is still underway and kicking into eye. By next week, I should be having some more, some more, um, ninjified goodies for you. And this week, or rather this, either this week or this weekend, I'll be working on Dragon Quest Swords. So, yes, I've been meaning to do Dragon Quest Swords, but, you know, dealing with family issues and, you know, spring cleaning, well, not spring cleaning, but fall cleaning, it has somewhat halted my progress on playing, um, um, DQ Swords. Somehow, I have my power back, as I mentioned before, and the good thing is that since I do have my power back, I can manage to pull off, um, a few more parts here and there. Most likely... With this, with this chair I have, in, I have, I can actually relax and play, and play Dragon Quest Swords more efficiently now because now I don't really have to struggle with my seat, as this one doesn't squeak. As this one doesn't really squeak, and is under warranty. So if anything should happen to it, I can always get another one. Not the issue here. The issue is what's going to be upon the horizon. Well, upon the horizon of many games that I have, <clears throat> I have somewhat marked in my little scheduler here. Yes, because every good LP here should have a little scheduler. And usually. And usually I don't really do something like this because I, you know, really, I, I don't really do it as much. But actually I should do it more often. Um, from what I can tell you, <clears throat> um, during my break, <clears throat> during my break, Of course, I won't be doing anything like in in September. I mean, not September, de December, because um, I will only be doing one game. And like I mentioned before, it will probably be one of those end of the um, end of the year type of games because it's just one game. I'm just gonna do one game. What what that is, I cannot say, but it will have the RCO involved in it. Because, rather, <clears throat> I'd rather do something different, you know, shake things up. And, you know, just do one little game in December before I take my break will probably be it. Now, I feel like it's more important to actually, you know, have some New Year's wishes, but I'm not going to have no New Year's wishes. Not yet, anyway. But in any case, this is what I plan to do during my break. I plan to finish up Bahamut Lagoon because that game has been sitting there far too long and it really does need to be finished. Um, games I will be working on while I'm on break, I'll most likely try my damnedest to actually finish um, Super Robot Tyson D. I want to see if I can get it patched so I can play it in English just like I have it in, like I have Super Robot Tyson J in English and I can just do it all over and, and do it much more efficiently. I'm going to see into having a patch 
Don't know if it can happen, but you know, who knows? I just want to see it done. Anyways, oh, thank you for much. Oh, excuse me for the on. It's like 3 a.m. over here. So, like I said, there are a couple of things that are going to be happening. More than likely. Like I said, Super Robot Tyson D. Um, that'll probably be, that'll probably be one of those games I will do during my break. Another game I plan to do will most likely be Book Two of the Legacy of Is. Now, once I finish Book Two, I will most likely go to Book Three and stop my journey at the Mask of the Sun, which is called Ease Four. Now, let's not go into which Ease is that, because you know they said there's two, two Ease Four: Dawn of Ease and Mask of the Sun. I'm just going to do Mask of the Sun, because it's in, since it's in English, I can pull it off. Anything else beyond that? Sheer luck and stupidity. Oh, and I suppose a little... A little game logic, yeah, on the side. But, yes, um... Mainly, things have been happening here in the household. My mom is somewhat going at a good, steady pace. And, um, slowly and slowly, she's... She, too, is getting her power back. She's she's doing a little bit at a time on things of her own because she likes to be independent. So, you know, you could tell, you know, good things are really happening. With the help of um, my brother and, and his wife, it takes stuff off me because I don't have to do much of anything except maybe... <laughs> Just take care of the clothes and make sure that the the house is filled to the brim with um, groceries and 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 of the like. And I don't mind doing that. Anything within my own limits of what I can do, whether it's cook a meal or you know do the clothes and make sure everything is how it should be. Yeah, that's. That's all I'm. That's all I'm doing around here. That, I mean, that's all that I can possibly do because I don't want to do any more than I can really handle. I mean, besides the cleaning, cleaning is no problem as long as I do it during the day. It's okay. And I'm really looking forward to going back to doing some more fall cleaning because you know. The house can and cannot function without me. So what will that mean around Christmas time? Well, I can't say well mean for Christmas time, but I do plan on taking a week-long vacation and make a return trip to Connecticut. See how... See how things are in in New Haven, and um, you know most likely stay there for like a week and come back, and um, more than likely you know rest and um, more, more than likely work on my books a little bit more, catch up on some casual reading, since I have two two hefty mangas to read. I will most likely be reading these two hefty mangas and probably order some more. Other than that, there's not much else I'm going to possibly do except catch a good movie and more than likely you heard my watch go. And for that matter, just, you know, usual stuff. So, what does the new year bring to URG? Well, as you saw, um, this weekend, well, last weekend, I started the new Saturday Night Fight, uh, the Saturday Night Special, I should say, because I feel, you know, anybody can do CAW matches, but yet, 
it takes imagination to make it, you know, different, you know, totally, totally stand out, you know what I mean. And that's what I plan to do. I plan to make mine just stand out. So that's what I'm doing every Saturday night or every Saturday evening. Now this also means that if you want to see any match being done, I can do that. Now it can either be, you know, one player versus computer or computer versus computer, doesn't matter. However it may work. It's not going to be a problem. Or if there is a certain CAW you want to be, you want made or seen, I can do that on the sides. Considering that I have, considering that I could possibly pull it off by um, simply going by sight alone. Now, so far in my, now so far in my CAW list, I have. Aside from myself, I have made Mike Hagar, um, Kenshin Himura, and and um, Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach. So that's all I really have so far. And they have the move sets of the following people. Mine, mine is a mixed bag, so therefore I might change it up. <clears throat> For Mike Hagar, he's he has um the Big Show. Um, For Ichigo Kurosaki, um, Rey Mysterio, and for um, and for um. Kenshi and more, I gave him Sinkara. Now, like I said, I can also make other, you know, other, um, CAWs, providing, you know, I get some feedback. Now, it doesn't matter if you want feedback on this, um, video or not. I wouldn't mind if you want feedback on, if, if you want to drop a comment on this video. Really, it's a good thing, because I always read my comments and I always reply back to them. So you know, like I said, th this pretty much is um, a fan interactive. Um, this is mainly an interactive type of sp special I'm doing. So therefore, if you want to see more, you know, drop me a request. I'll see what I can do for you and next time the next time I do SNS I will most likely have yours have yours posted and and if you want me to for say you want me to say your name on a request I will do so just let me know I'll most likely have it have it said in annotations on the video or I'll most likely just make a little a little note of it when I actually tape the video when I actually yeah when I actually tape the video um, okay now also for 2013 um, I did say I was going to do this for 2012 but it seems I'm I basically got caught up in getting a whole lot of games and you know simply forgot the games I'm, I I used to play with so I'm just gonna let you know what I'm gonna be working on for next year right off the bat right off the bat I'm gonna I'm going to try my damnedest to do the blazer trilogy if you don't know what the blazer trilogy is it's soul blazer illusion of Gaia and Terra Enigma in that order so right after I do like say Soul Blazer then I move on to Illusion of Gaia then after I do Illusion of Gaia then it'll be 
the third and final one mainly called Tarnigma. And I play each and every one of these games, one I actually own, which is Illusion of Gaia. And I can say, I do love that game. It's fun, even though the story itself does not make sense in some forms. But you get the total idea. I also plan on doing Pokemon XT. Which I said I wanted to do for 2012, but again, I got totally sidetracked and did everything else except what I planned to do. And you can understand because, you know, games come out every so often and you want to catch every little bit of it. Now down the line, like say in February... February, I plan to switch up because I plan to do the Mana series. Because you have Final Fantasy and you have Mana, and you have Mana, they somehow inter intertween whatever the word is. Um, they coexist. I'll say that they coexist within one or the other. Because if there is like one piece of information that is to be known, that there are bits and pieces of Final Fantasy, of, of, um, Final, of Final Fantasy in the Mana series, as with the Mana series being in Final Fantasy, so they coexist. So the first game I will do in the series will be Sword of Mana. And yes, even though it is a... It is somewhat of a reboot of Final Fantasy Adventure. Still, it is a fun game, and I've beaten it on a practice run. And pretty much, it'll be... I, I like to switch things up, you know, keep it fresh, keep it going. And plus, I don't want people to actually consider things that I do very boring. I want to break out of the mold. I like to keep things... Different. Just so people can be very much interested in what I do, because that's what I do. I like to, I like to keep the masses interested, and at the same time that I'm doing so, I like to keep myself interested because I love playing games. I love playing certain games in which, you know, will challenge me. And, you know, somewhat make me more aware of how to play the game and everything else. And what I got to go through if I need to use guides or anything like that. I'm what you call an old school gamer. I don't mind using guides and, and walkthroughs to help me along the way. So as long as it tell, so as long as I know the path is going where it needs to go... That's all. That's that's all I need to know. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do in February. Now, March, as you know, is the March of the Super Robots. So, therefore, I will most likely finish D. Don't know about R, but I know for certain I will do D. And I will also do OG Saga Mugen Frontier, or Endless Frontier. Now, I have to warn you that when I actually do Endless Frontier, it's going to be on a different emulator. So the thing is, if it runs slow, it's the emulator. It's not the ROM, it's just, it's just the emulator. Because usually, if I run a certain if I run a certain emulator, the ROM is not going to usually work the same way as I do with another ROM. So therefore, if I have to deal, you have to deal. So yeah, April I am definitely going to keep that secret because basically, 
I usually do something special on behalf of my birthday, and I don't know what the RCO is going to do on my birthday. Because, man, like, I mean, after this year, <laughs> I'm like, wow, you guys, wow. So, really, you know, the first quarter of 2013, it's going to be something else. So, from Dragon Quest Swords and then on, will that lead to me doing more Dragon Quest games? You bet your sweet ass it will. Because, more than likely, I will start with the more recent one, which is 9, and then work my way down. Yes, most people just do 1, and one to 9 up. I'm doing mine all the way down. So, yes, Dragon Dragon Quest is in that list of games I will most likely LP in the near future. And as for Pokemon, well, I, I will do XD and hopefully XD will possibly lead to more Pokemon games. But believe me, I'm, I'm just going to say this. I am not going to deal with any more of these badge quests. You know, just, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to do it. So whatever works for me, if the story is somewhat tolerable, I'll do it within the Pokemon universe. But it's the same thing. The same thing happens every time. Boredom sets in and then pfft, I'm done. I just put it down. I put it down, never to be seen from again. And if so, it's like, oh, pfft. so that's what happens. But anyway, I think I've spoken enough about <laughs> the updates of uh, what's going to happen in the next year. So I hope that wasn't too much for you. <laughs> and if it was, my apologies. So, on that note, folks, I have been the underdog of the underrated and the Tenkaichi of gaming because I am an L peer by name and a gamer by right. That is me, Pookie Izzy7. And I will see y'all sometime in the near future. Take care, God bless, and Tenkai Muso.